Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As I'm sure you know from looking at the title, uh, we're going to be talking about everything I used up this month. And I gotta be, I gotta be saying, <laughs> I gotta say, when I opened up my vanity drawer where I keep all of my empties, I was like, wow, I hung on to a lot of trash this month. Um, because I actually found a few things that I used up in August that didn't get put in my August empties just because I had so much to show you. So some of this garbage I've been hanging on to for a hot minute, so... Oh, let's go ahead and get on into it. First thing we can talk about because we're not gonna, I don't have a whole lot to say about this one, but I really enjoyed it. It's these um, Equate flushable wipes. They're, you know, like adult baby wipes pretty much. But <laughs> I've really been enjoying these um, and they've definitely become a staple in my bathroom. It was never something I really thought I needed before until I used it. And now I'm like, what have I been doing my whole life? So, y'all can fill in the blanks with these, however you like. But they've been nice. I've enjoyed them. I recommend them. <laughs> they make you feel clean. Yeah, that's that for that. <laughs> um, after that and uh, my toothpaste, I ran out of. I don't know. I was watching another YouTuber do her empties a few months ago, and she talked about some toothpaste she's been using. So when I used up mine, I was like, I'm going to talk about my toothpaste. So this is just the Colgate Triple Action. Um, it's original mints. Um, there's not a whole lot to be said about this other than I do enjoy it. And, oh, dropping it on the floor. He can hang out down there for now. So... The only good thing I have to say about this one is that if you have sensitive teeth, he won't bother you. I, for one, have sensitive teeth. I can't use anything with whitening in it because it makes my teeth really, really sore just because the, what is it called? I want to call it a laminate, and I know that's wrong. The um, enamel in my teeth is thin or weak or however you want to say it, and the uh, this doesn't irritate my teeth. It doesn't cause any extra sensitivity the way like things with whitening does. So that's a good one to grab if you have sensitive teeth but you don't want to get Sensodyne or you can't find Sensodyne or for whatever reason. He was pretty good. And they sell him at the Dollar Tree for like a buck so you can't really beat that. Funny story with that one though. I was at Kroger one day and I seen that they had that on sale and it was a 10 for 10 and I was like toothpaste, ex toothpaste is expensive. That's on sale, a dollar box, I'm going to stock up. So I bought like 10 bottles of that stuff, and we're still using it to this day. Turns out we love it. But two days after buying all of that, I found them at the Dollar Tree for a buck. So it's not like I really saved anything. Um, I just gave Kroger 10 of my dollars for 10 of their toothpaste. That'll last me forever. So that's all there is to be said about my toothpaste. <laughs> this next one is another goodie I found at the Dollar Tree, and I really enjoyed him. It's the Yes to Carrots Nourishing Fragrance Free Gentle Cleansing Wipe for your face to take like makeup off and stuff. And he did really good. I was really quite impressed. I need to pick up another pack of this stuff. This is definitely a, re a repurchase for me. I know you can find them at Walmart, but I think they're a bit expensive at Walmart, which is why I've never tried them. Just because, you know, they're kind of expensive. But I really quite enjoyed this one. The only thing I have to say that I didn't care for on it was that it did leave my face feeling a bit dry um, so I definitely had to apply some facial lotion after using it but I always put facial lotion on in the evenings anyways so it's not like it really disrupted my routine any since it was something I was gonna do anyways but it just made it feel like I needed to do it because it made my, my skin feel kind of dry and tight so that's like the only negative thing I have what was that negative thing I have to say about that one? So I have another, I've got a couple face things up here. This next one is a guy I got from Ipsy and I really, really loved him. I wish I knew where to find this guy at. It's from Nooks Paris, N-U-X-E, Nooks, Nooks. It's a exfoliator essentially. It's all in French for the most part. Um, oh, here's some English. Uh, Gentle Exfoliating Gel with Rose Petals. And it says it's fragrance free, but I could smell the roses in this. But I loved it. It's just a clear facial like gel type. I don't know how much you can see of that on the bottle there. But those little like crusty looking bits here are some rose petals that are stuck there. But for the most part, the cleanser itself was just like a clear gel. And then it had like those little flakes of rose petals in them. 
and they did so much for exfoliating my skin i really enjoyed that cleanser if anybody knows where to buy that at leave it down here in the comments and i will love you forever but excuse me i really enjoyed that guy this this I don't know. He lasted me several months. It wasn't like I used him all up last month. He lasted me a good two to three months. I think I used him most of the summer, but I really enjoyed him. So I think this is the last. No, I've got a couple more facial things up here. So I found this guy. I'm honestly not sure where he came from. I think you can get them at the Dollar Tree. Don't quote me. Pretty sure you can at least get them at Walmart. The brand is Freeman. It is a facial revealing peel off mask in the flavor is pomegranate. Um, and that's just what it looked like right here. That's the top part. And uh, this guy was really fun, yet kind of painful. Um, he definitely did a good job. He pulled a lot of my blackheads out. Like, if you can get this, that guy at the Dollar Tree for a buck, I would totally go for it because he pulled off so much dead skin and, like, blackheads and all that fun stuff. I would definitely recommend him. Um, like I said, it did kind of hurt peeling off a little bit. It's kind of when you do one of those Biore strips, kind of painful enough. Not quite that bad, but similar. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing something right here. Um, but he, yeah, it kind of hurt a little bit. It, I'm not going to lie. It kind of hurt, but <laughs> it was well worth it. Um, and the way it peels off, you can do it in one full sheet, which is what I'm trying to fix right here. And then you have a complete mask of your face, which is kind of creepy, but look at that. It's my face. <laughs> is that not weird? Um, I thought that was kind of cool. I just want to show you to you guys. But that was fun, and I enjoyed that. And that mask shape of my face held up for like a full month sitting in a drawer. So there's that. But I thought that was just kind of cool. Last facial thing up here, I think, that I'm seeing. This guy I've had for a hot minute. I really like him. I don't think Kohl's even sells it anymore. Uh, let me see. It's, a, it's an instant lightning eye cream, which goes right under here. And... I think the brand is Good Skin, but I went looking for this guy at Kohl's a month or so back, and I couldn't find the brand. I don't think they even have it anymore. So I don't even know where you get it. But it goes underneath of your eyes to, like, relieve dark under eye circles, which when I got him, I was a senior in high school, so I've had him for, like, six years, and I just finished him up last month or so. Surprisingly, still worked that long. But... All through high school, I was really heavy with the dark black mascara and the eyeliner and the eyeshadow. I mean, I had a whole, like, punk rock phase slash goth slash all that stuff. And I was really, really heavy with the dark eye makeup. And just, like, the underside of my eyes seemed to be permanently stained black. Like, I, there was nothing I could do to get rid of it. It was always just dark black under there. And I think it was from all of the makeup. And I got this guy, started using him pretty regularly, and within a few weeks, it cleared up all of the dark circles under my eyes. I don't even know if it took that long, but I know it's just been like a week or so, but it really, really took care of all the darkness under my eyes. So, I wish I could tell you guys where to get him, because he's fantastic, especially if you like to wear a lot of dark black eyeliner, because he'll be your best friend, but I, I really don't know if you can get him anymore. But again, the brand is Good Skin, and they used to have it at Kohl's. So, on from there, we can talk about some hair care products. This guy's, um, one I got from Ipsy. Just flew out of my head there for a second. Um, it's from Caviar CC Cream. Or it's a CC Cream from Caviar, I'm guessing. Or maybe the brand's Alterna. I'm not really for sure, but <laughs> there's like a lot going on there. Um, I think the brand's Alterna, and uh, the product is a Caviar CC Cream. It's a 10-in-1 uh, complete correction, leave-in hair perfecter. Um, the 10 things it does, it's moisturize, shine, smoothness, softness, UV protection, manageability, strength, anti-breakage, heat protectant, and light holes. I'm really not sure where to get this guy, just like on a regular basis, because he was something that came in Ipsy. Lasted me probably two months, this little sample, but he did so many good things for my hair. I used him with my Garnier um, hair mask right after I dyed my hair blonde and my hair was super like dry and brittle and breaking. And those two together just did a whole lot to help my hair. So, got to give him some props and a shout out. Really enjoyed him. Go check it out if you know where to buy it. If you know where to buy it, let me know. <laughs> this next one is my bottle of Tresemme... 
shampoo. Um, it's moisture rich with vitamin E for drier, damaged hair. I've been using him since June. I mean, it's a really big bottle. It's since at least June. It's been a hot minute, but I really enjoyed him. He smells really good. He definitely did a good job cleaning my hair. It's shampoo. It's Pantene. Pantene's good shampoo. <laughs> but I used him up. This next one here is a body wash. This is the... Uh, it's called Deep from the Dead Sea. It's a eucalyptus body wash um, with eucalyptus extract and de Dead Sea minerals. Gotta say, I hated him. He sucked. He didn't do much. He didn't lather. If you find this in the store, keep walking. Don't buy it. I used it because I had it. It wasn't any good. I just put it that way. I don't even know where you get it from. It was one of my cousin gave me. Um, I did a massive haul and a bunch of stuff that she gave me back earlier this summer. Um, as some of you might know, she just packed up everything, moved to Florida. And everything she couldn't fit in her little car, she gave to family. So, she gave me a whole bunch of beauty products. I hauled them all. If you guys are interested, go check out some of those videos. That was one of those guys. She gave me, I think I know why, because he sucks. So, after... All of that, I've got a couple more lotions, and we're, we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. This next one is a lotion. The brand is April Bath and Shower. It's a vibrant mint scented body lotion. I think he may have came from the Dollar Tree, but also possibly Big Lots. I'm really not for sure. It was in a gift set my aunt gave me for Christmas last year, and I really enjoyed him. The mintness, the mintness, <laughs> the mintiness, it was just really nice cooling sensation on my body and the moisturizer did really good things it just soaked into my skin left my skin feeling really really soft but the mint was probably the best it just it just a nice cool feeling all over my body after putting it on i really enjoyed that so if you can find this guy grab him up and like i said i think it's from the dollar tree but if it's if it is from the dollar tree it's only a dollar which means everybody can go buy one this next one is um, P.S. I Love You Triple Moisture Shower Cream from Bath & Body Works. This is the first time I ever used a shower cream. I've always had their shower gel, but I really enjoyed it. It really left my skin feeling really soft and moisturized. And another awesome thing about it is that the smell just, like, stayed on my skin. It's, it wasn't like most, like, shower gels where, you know, you wash with it, get out, and, like, you don't smell it anymore. This was, like, still on my skin. You could still smell it, which was kind of neat. I enjoyed that because it smelled really good. But it's again, it's from P.S. I Love You, which I I feel like they don't carry that smell anymore. Not really for sure, but I know they still have their shower creams. So Bath and Body Works, go check out their shower cream. I'm kind of thinking I might switch over to their shower cream from the shower gels from now on because I really liked them. I, I, I just like the way the smell stayed on my skin. While we're on the topic of Bath and Body Works, I have a Cherry Blossom Antibacterial Hand Soap that I used up. Not a whole lot to be said about it. I liked it. It did its job. It's from Bath and Body Works. It's hand soap. <laughs> uh, then I have an air freshener from Glade. It's apple cinnamon. And uh, I really like these. It's one of those that, like, you have a contraption, you put it in, and, like, every 30 minutes or so it goes off and it makes your room smell good, which I really love those guys. I highly recommend them if you don't have them. But they're kind of expensive because these guys are, like, 2 to $4 a piece. Um, so... Oh, it's for the automatic spray. But if you can go get them, I highly recommend them. I don't fill them mine up as often as I'd like to just because they are kind of pricey. It's one of those little splurges, like if I have the extra cash to get refills for mine or not. But I really like this one. Again, it's apple cinnamon. I like my house to smell like apples. So it was definitely worth it. Then I have a perfume sample. This was another one my cousin gave me. It's um, Eternity Aqua from Calvin Calvin Klein. No, these are a little bit expensive, but I really enjoyed him. Um, he wasn't like super fantastic. Like I wouldn't spend high dollars for it, but as a sample, it was nice and I enjoyed it. So we're getting down to the end here. Three more things, guys, as I drop one of them on the floor. Give me a second. Hi. I'm just gonna get all up in your face while I use my feet to pick it up. This next one is just a color correcting stick from, uh, what are you from? This is Physician, Physician's Formula, and he was just a green stick. I mean, I've really used all of it. Um, I really enjoyed it, but I had a hard time finding these guys again, and I think they're like 8 to $10 at Walmart to buy, so they're a little bit pricey. But I've recently found Walmart has a concealer that's adult Walmart. 
Elf has a concealer. I got it from Walmart. It's a dollar. It's a yellow concealer, but it works just the same. I have it on today. Can't really see any blemishes underneath, which I've got a couple of zits going on. But I really enjoyed this guy as long as he lasted, which he lasted me a really long time. A couple of years, actually. But, I mean, I recommend him if you want to spend the money. But the one I found from... <laughs> The one I found from Elf works just as well, and it's a buck, so. Last two items are a couple of nail polishes I have. Now, if you watched my video yesterday, you'll know that I was talking about a nail polish I used all month long, all month of September, and that was the Avon Nail Wear in the color Tycoon, and it was just like this really pretty deep burgundy red color. I really quite enjoyed it. Um, I have it on several of my videos throughout the month of September, likely all of my videos from September. Um, and I finally used them all up. So that was kind of like a feat in itself using up a full nail polish. And again, if you watched my video yesterday, you know that I'm picking out one nail polish to use all month long, which this month for October is a really pretty orange color. You can go watch that other video if you want more information on him. But this is the guy I used up all month of September. And then this guy is the one I used up for the full month of August. And the color is Love Nails, and it's from Sinful Colors. And there's him. Again, a feat in itself to use up an entire bottle of nail polish. Granted, he was about half empty when I started using him, so he didn't take too long. But, yeah, I was kind of excited when I used it up. I kind of, I kind of like getting to use up a full makeup product and just use use it all up. I mean, that doesn't happen often, so I kind of get excited about it. But the only complaint I have to do with either of these nail polishes um, is that when you get down to the bottom, they still look like there's plenty of polish down there, but, like, the brush isn't long enough to get to it. So really with both of these, it came down to I used up so much product, they turned into a, t a, a total pain in the butt. Excuse me, I'm getting the burps. They turned into a total pain in the butt to use up what was at the bottom. So I'm calling them empty, but like if I wanted to mess with them, I could probably get another coat or two out of them. But they're just, they're turning into such a pain in the butt to get to any more of the product that I'm calling them empty. Um, and there's one more thing up here that I missed that was sitting up here. Why did I say that twice? Um, this is Hot Apple Pie Wax Melts from the Old Virginia Candle Company. I believe this is a company that's ran by QVC. I could be wrong. I tried to Google this when I did a whole haul on these guys. I got like three of these in a Yertle unboxing. And I tried to find them to give you guys links if you guys were interested in buying it. The only way I could find this was on QVC and even still they didn't have these wax melts. Um, it was just their candles. But if you have the opportunity to to get their hot apple pie candle or their candle wax. I highly suggest it. I mean, you only get two in a pack, but each one lasts me a good week to week and a half. So they're very strong smelling. They're going to last you a long time. I recommend them. They're really good. So that sums up all of my empties for this month. All of the garbage I've been holding on to for the past month and a half, I can now throw away. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave me some comments down below. Let me know some of the things you used up this month. Would you buy it again? Would you not? Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Look at that sassy cat. <laughs> All the way up on the cabinet. And napping. So happy. He's such a long way up. <laughs> I just love this big bushy tail and how he like drapes it. So cute. He's a good boy.